Welcome back to Captain of Industry. We're picking off right where we left off after the last episode. This is now episode 4. We're making great progress to become autonomous, but we're not there yet. We have the fuel production going, but we don't have yet the rubber and copper. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this episode today. I'm Strat Gamer, covering strategy, city building, simulation games with game reviews, guides, and let's play. Don't hesitate to press the red button below to subscribe so you never miss another episode and you'll really help support the channel. So as I said, we have started our fuel production. There's a crude oil that's coming from the ground over here and then transported here using coal at the same time to make then the fuel and the dump over here. We're not making rubber yet because we can't. This is a research in progress. But what we can start is the copper. The copper on this map is actually all over here. We are going to start in this, but what you have to be careful is don't think you can just start here or easily. The gray bar means that basically the copper is way under uh, ground, right? There's, I don't know how many levels before you get to it. On the other hand, if we look over here, you know, this is pretty much on the ground. Um, so we're going to start more on that side. You know, if I actually start being a bit smarter later when we've cut those trees. But for now, I'm going to be smart and just go on the ground where I know there is copper. We're going to go like this. So that is the mining designation. We obviously still need a mine control tower. Put it over here. We can edit the area to focus more like this. We'll assign one truck. And by the way, now that we've made so many trucks, I want to make sure there's more trucks assigned. Here we have two laying. And we're making more, right? Yes, we're making one more. Let's put another. <laughs> we definitely need more. One more, I would say one more here and one more there for sure. Maybe also over here, actually, because this is quite far. As you can see, this is running, but not fully, fully, I think. So we want to make it over here copper. And we're going to use this copper in our blast furnace over here with some coal to make some molten copper. All good. It go then goes into the metal caster, similar to the iron. But as you can see, it says impure copper. Because then we need to put it here into the copper electrolyse. We, where with water it will become copper. So we're gonna need water. I am getting water here but later on we'll also be able to get water from the ground as long as there water in the ground. So let's check groundwater here. It's all over there. So it is a good place definitely over here to make the production right on site. Also because my call is from here. Right, right now it's there but Nothing prevents me from creating a second copper uh, coal mine, sorry, a second coal mine over here, right? So we can definitely do that or over there, even if we want. So anyway, the copper is starting. I want to also right away make sure we have loose storage. We're going to put it here because remember there is copper in the ground actually even here is too close let's put it over here because we're gonna need to dug so then we're gonna need to put walls and all of this but we'll get there when we get there <laughs> so this one is for copper we want blast furnace metal caster because i'm gonna plan for two but i'm gonna have one that's posed this f yes but basically let's just put one in case this will be my copper and then we can have another one which will be the coal okay and this one we can unpause when we have conveyor belts that can work then we do need a smokestack we can put it in the middle okay I don't know, this one this one 
and that one okay then we want them to go into the metal caster so this one is 12 right and this one is 24 so we can have two and this is 120 so we can definitely actually have only one right, let's put the buildings first and what i want to do is something a bit like this if, oh wait i need to also leave space for the nah, it's fine it can go behind just just in case i'll leave a bit of space oh there's some trees there i forgot about that this one f perfect yeah so i won't be able to put this one because there's a tree i need to cut this tree guys <laughs> do one at a time and then go like this perfect night works okay and then press p to unpause basically all of these but not this one okay so this is it you want some i want some okay so then it will deliver over here this will deliver there this will make oops, some of these some of these and then we can go into the electrolyte which is this one it takes 24 right so it only takes one uh, it takes two of these so i could put them here or i can put one on each side the one thing though is that it does need water so i'll have to play with water later on for now i don't have um you know conveyor belts anyway so let's just do it quick and dirty that's fine okay a bit more refugees again that is great always good we're fine except on the concrete we have to be careful but remember i can also buy some concrete when needed let's do but just in case okay and while we were i was talking the rubber is finished so now the ship dock repair is starting but that also means we can start this one let's do it right away and we obviously want to do it in this corner so we have some fluid storage of diesel here and some coal over here i should have put the coal on that side but that is not the end of the world you know this is obviously we'll need to get a lot bigger later on rubber so this is the one we want it also does need the wastewater actually so uh, and it's produce it needs eight this is 24 this is huge so let's do like this okay quick deliver i have some unity and on pause we just need a pipe so i can connect it over here not the prettiest but it will work for now okay so this will create some rubber and wastewater so we need to ensure the wastewater goes there this is 60 per second so we have 12 and 4 that's not a problem and the rubber is you know one of those solid materials so again this is definitely not a super pretty layout because anyway i don't have conveyor belts but it will work okay so we are not producing we're not fully autonomous because we're not producing everything exactly at the rate that we need it but at least we're producing some of everything so we can definitely survive forgot to put a recipe as always but yeah that's pretty good we are now almost at the end of part one and as i said this is when we can start getting autonomous pretty good oh this is getting full that is really good that means we're 
starting to produce enough for all of this. Next step could be to put a storage over here. But I won't do that because I want to actually get to um, conveyor belts and things like this quite soon and then make some really good layouts. What we could do with the new excavator that we have is start a coal production over here. As I said, this requires coal, right? So instead of having it transport all the way over here, we can start making it over there. Coal. Yeah, there's quite a bit of coal even all the way over here. Uh, let me put a bit further actually. And on this one, we're going to be digging right away for sure. Even if there's a bit of work, it is fine. I want to start doing a real coal mine. It's the wrong one. Yes, yes. For now, let's start small like this. We can always you know, expand later on. one two tracks yeah, we're definitely making great progress i feel don't hesitate to share any thoughts or questions that you may have okay we have the second here starting great oh and they're dumping all the way over here or all the way over here hmm and at some point i'll also need to get over here could also start dumping in the sea to expand my island Oh, we're missing electricity. I had missed that. It is because we're out of fuel here. That's not great. So let's have a depot of fuel over here. That should never happen. Where well, we're going to directly connect it. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I put the wrong side. My bad. But at the same time, it is good that you get an error. I hate when there's no error like this and for... You know weeks you're you're trying to find out what's the problem let's use unity for this because this is a problem obviously if my whole economy stops i have fuel here i just need a truck to get there uh, can i put priority no i can't oh yes yeah oh it can this is priority one guys yeah, we are back at it but it's good to see that we're actually very close to the maximum so you know utilization 88 so soon we'll need a second one there's not a lot of other things we can do in terms of, of electricity right now we have finished our dock repair we have a few more come with diesel that's always good because i'm pretty sure i'm making i'm using more diesel than i'm making right now to repair is some mechanical parts we have some not too much we've been using quite a bit i mean to expand all of this that was definitely a few parts but it's better than nothing i was also cleaning here to make sure i can expand my town let's repair and use this because otherwise that was a lot of ships and that way then we'll be able to start using our ship we're full this means we're full you know could not store all potato after harvest that's a i would say a good problem to have you know honestly okay this has been repaired as you can see we also have a lot of cargo here so that's a problem because that means that if i get something else on the map there's nowhere to put it so that's not good that's not good um also you may have seen it was the station, the electrical station, I don't remember, maybe put in the comments what was the name of it, but the thing we recycle is gone. We've used all of those resources. So we've used, for example, all of the electrical parts that were in it, but also all of the concrete uh, slab. So this is really why now we need to get into a, um, a good production of concrete, otherwise we are going to be in trouble. But we, we have some production, so, so it's not the end of the world, especially because now I'm making slags here and here. As I was saying, you know, I'm not going to send the ship until I can just clean a bit of some of this. A lot of cement, a lot of copper, some diesel. The diesel is easy. I could, you know, start expanding this here. 
but actually I'm not going to make it here because what I'm gonna do is probably more over here I'm gonna have later um, some docks where we can get more fuel this is also where I'm making the fuel so I think my fuel reserve should be more over here not gonna be super pretty but basically we're going to end this episode with two more storage of fuel I'm diesel okay that's going to empty my diesel then the rubber but let's let's make a few just over here to stock some of these one for the cement one for the copper and what was the last one i forgot sorry <laughs> the rubber that won't be enough but that's going to start keeping it out these guys are getting their fuel from here for now and we are as i said getting to the end of this first phase and maybe wait for this to be finished and right now we have quite a bit of workers you know we're getting close to filling out again our city we have 100 workers available so i'm going to pause the beacon for a while that means we won't get the resources that they usually brought but this is also because i want to <laughs> keep this empty okay construction 2 is finished we still haven't finished to build those things because there's our people are so busy but that's okay the great thing is indeed we have finished this one we have a new building over here which is the assembly electric one before we had the manual one that was four workers and no electricity now this one is six workers some maintenance also and 20 um, kilowatts of electricity it also costs the second uh, level parts to build it but as you can see with this you can double your production or sometimes even triple it because this one was used to be one four uh four and now it's three twelve twelve i think this one is just double if i remember correctly but anyway in the old ones now we've also unlocked construction part two which is construction part one which remember requires iron wood and concrete slabs and on top of that electronics which again remember is rubber and copper so that's a lot of different resources what's great with that is indeed we're gonna be able to build those uh, assembly electric that are better but also very soon we're gonna be able to build conveyor uh, belts which really enables you to really automate some of those production have a lot less trucks and make some really cool things so that's definitely um, one of the next one that we want to do also because many of those buildings anyway will need construction part two farming and a lot of edicts which are sort of like policies so we are now at 16 research out of 154 still a long way to go but at least with those research here we can be independent we can be autonomous you can you have sort of avoided the death trap that you can get into at the beginning. We can also now start going on the map as soon as we have put some crew member here and we have repaired the ship. So that's the last two things we need to do before we can go. And also, as I said, I want to empty some of this. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't hesitate to smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.